it's hard to believe, but I I am seeing this right. NASCAR Heat 5 2022 season update is going to come out June 22nd, which is tomorrow. Kind of wild to think about. It's actually here. Um, big shout out to people on, on uh, Twitter for uh, linking or just sharing the, the Steam database stuff. So this will also come out to consoles and everything tomorrow as well, apparently. And we get like usually uh at least with steam when it comes to updates or really anything like dlc steam usually gets it first so this is like an early scoop of sorts and yeah this is a thing they already have the 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 thing what you're gonna see when you uh, go to the game store on steam or ps4 or xbox one so that's neat. So we'll go through all the, the pictures and everything, because they actually have pictures. If you hover your mouse over, it says click to view screenshots. So there's apparently screenshots, so we get to look at those, so we can kind of break things down. So I'll give my final thoughts on all of this once that is done. Apparently the DLC is going to be $9.99. It doesn't really say here on the Steam database, but on Twitter, people have confirmed that it's going to be $9.99. So... I guess I could try to find the original, not not the original tweets, but like just the tweets in general, just to give you a frame of mind. So obviously from Alan Bailey, he says the release would be 9.95 Thursday. This comes a week after Vance released the 2023 mod. So that's one. Uh, we got Mario, which I think might have been the original one that, that posted screenshots of, of this. So, yeah. So let's actually look at everything else here. And just go through the screenshots. So this is our first one. So yes, Bristol Dirt is a thing, which <laughs> already kind of amazed by that. Really never thought that would even be an idea because even modders tried getting Bristol Dirt to work and it never seemed to work. So the fact that they actually have Bristol Dirt part of the schedule, that's kind of wild to think about. Um, dirt kicks up. I mean, it looks all right. I don't know what really to say about it. I'm no dirt expert, but... I think it looks pretty nice. Also, no mirror. I don't know why you can't have the mirror in the cockpit. That, like, for Disco Inferno, this, this, even if you wanted to get this, like, it's not going to be possible because the mirror is just not going to be a thing. Like, what, how, how? It's not even on this one either. Like, what? What's the explanation for that? DK and his freaking hate for mirrors, man. I don't know. I hate to be in a car with him if he doesn't have mirrors. Like, holy shit. <laughs> this is some freaking racism towards mirrors if I've ever seen it. So while this all this screenshot does look fine, another thing people I think were wondering was if this car would even have a fifth gear. As you see where my mouse is hovering, apparently there is going to be a fifth gear. So that's kind of wild to think about. Didn't know that would be even possible. So I guess, well, it depends on how the damage model looks because that's like a big, big question mark because I know Mario's always had a hard time with the, the damage model stuff, but... This, in theory, means that this could be better than what the modders did, which I feel like that's... I hate to sound like I'm trying to give Motorsport Games a one-up, but if this thing functions, I mean, it will be, but, I mean, so far, I'm sort of impressed that they even got Bristol Dirt in here to work. That's, that's kind of wild. So there's 13 photos. So we got another one of Bristol Dirt, another shot of it. It looks like the Saber Bears aren't taken out, so that's another thing. I don't know if that really matters. Yeah, I can kind of see the Saber Bear. I, if for whatever reason, actually, they're Bristol. They don't have the Saber Bears, so it's never really really thought about that. But yeah, apparently that's not going to be removed for Bristol Dirt, so I guess they'll just be there. So Okay. Uh, we got Auto Club. This looks like... It just looks like Auto Club. Again, a lot of cockpit shots, but... There's really nothing visually different on the inside, even though I, the Gen 7 cars are like radically different. But so that's kind of a, a knock against it with uh, cockpit not being accurate, because it's literally just Heat Five. But yeah, I don't know why. I mean, literally everything looks the same on the inside. Why can't the mirrors work? I, that doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, it just it looks fine. Uh, another shot of the outside. Again, it it looks 
looks fine to me. Uh, Martinsville, yeah, that is indeed the 2022 cars. I, I don't know what to really say beyond that, just it is the 2022 cars. Uh, same with the Roval. The schemes look accurate. I don't really spot anything jarring. The gas tank, there's a big black hole, which I think the monitors actually had the same issue too. So it's kind of funny to see that overlap. I just noticed that. So, okay. And I guess this is where we're going to start having the biggest problems is no extra paint schemes. So this has been on delay since October. And it's just the base schemes. I, NASCAR, like, it's just the base schemes. We're not even getting like extra different ones. Like if you're going to make us wait this long, at least add in the, the schemes. Like you've already literally have the officially licensed schemes from what Ignition had. And apparently from, from what modders say, it's not really that hard to port what Ignition rival like stuff into He5. It's really not that hard. So the fact that we're not getting extra, like it should at least come with everything that came with rivals, if not more. So that's really disappointing that apparently we're just not going to get extra schemes. That's, I don't know. I really think that this, this, this whole update is if it just functions on the most basic cosmetic level, it'll technically be a win because everything else that came before is such an atrocity that literally just having it function, I think, will be just a positive. But is that that's how low the bar is. That is how disgustingly low this bar is. That just hoping it just functions will be the game's highlight with this update. So yeah. So obviously nothing's really different with the menus. I don't even know if the... I guess driver up profiles are updated too. Because if this was 2020, then yeah, Chase wouldn't have this champion thing here. So I guess it is updated driver photos. Ooh. Pay ten dollars for that, hell yeah! And you get this, which that's what it's gonna look like when you want to switch to the twenty two season. Logano Homestead, I mean, it looks fine. Uh, Seventy eight car, I mean, it looks fine, but that's kind of the bare minimum. Is that it's supposed to look like the twenty two season? Also, why are we getting? <sighs> Let's just finish this up. So yeah, we got Elmerol here, which I'm assuming is at the Roval, and then we get the cover, like yeah, graphic design, which looks good. But let, let's get my my, th my my thoughts. Let's really just dive into it. So it's unfortunate because no matter how good faith this update is, if things just work, damage model looks right, the roof flaps look normal, and you know th all that stuff, all that is like just fine. It functions. It's serviceable. Ultimately, it's pointless because this is an update for last year. What gaming company? Imagine if Madden did something like this where they update Madden 17 to have Madden 2019 stuff in the year 2021. Like, or not, not. It's ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. And I can only imagine the the stories it took to even get this to work but still it's too little too late we are halfway through the almost halfway through well we're technically like at race 16 going into race 17 almost literally halfway through the 2023 season and we're just getting this now that is just what <laughs> absolutely ridiculous unacceptable i mean i'll get it i'm a content creator i i have to check out um, check it out and see if this works or just let people know but if you're the general casual player i don't recommend this at all that you could literally find mods of this with more paint schemes by the way so there's that nascar Rivals has more i mean to wait seven months no because this was supposed to come out in october so geez what eight months nine months when this was originally announced, because it was October, it was November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Eight months. Egregious. Absolutely egregious. Unacceptable for this to take that long. And I don't know. It's just too little too late, unfortunately. 
Now, if they do a 23 update at some point, which, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, but it might be. Because remember, people I, maybe people don't understand, but the logistics of actually just getting sponsors, getting approval, always seems to be a big pain in the ass. And that's always one of the biggest hurdles with these NASCAR license games, is just getting the approval to have sponsors. I can only imagine, just thinking, like, I can only imagine the logistics of just getting Hooters, just to get the approval for fucking Hooters, just to have that little decal there. Probably took like four days or almost a week just to get an approval, just to put it on. Like, so there's probably so much time that takes just to do all that. So I get it, I understand that, but we're getting an update for last year. Just too little, like I said, too little, too late. I'm morbidly curious just to see if it functions, because now my NASCAR Rivals game crashes like every other racing career, so that's been an abomination. So I, I'm kind of curious. I'm, I don't even think I want to even try it on console, because you know my story with He Five. The game stops, the frames dip too much. My game is like the only one apparently in any of the NASCAR YouTube content creator sphere that has that issue on console. No one else does but me. I've gotten different console. I, I got that. I, I've got an Xbox One Series S, and it still does it. Uh, download or uninstalled, reinstalled the game on Xbox One. Same with PS4. It still does that. So I'm just just screwed with ever playing that game. I can't do online races because literally, if if, if the game has a frame dip, when I'm mid-corner turning, it just it doesn't recognize me turning, and then the car kind of goes up the track a little bit, and I wreck people because of that. So I cannot play it. In any capacity. So it's just ruined it. So I'll, like I said, I'll probably get on Steam. Pfft. We'll see how that goes. But yeah. I don't know what else to really say beyond just... It's finally here. But it's just too little too late. It's just... Pay, spending $10 on this would be... If, if you're literally no one else other than like a content creator. Anyone else that would spend ten dollars on this would be i would i would consider a fool i'm sorry just this just i don't know but it's something um yeah i don't i don't know what really really else to say it's good that it's out but it took eight months just to get this to work what are they just going to keep update and then it's an outdated game it came out three years ago too that's another thing and uh, when will, when will the twenty three come out? Like I can only imagine that would be pushed back till twenty twenty late twenty twenty four. If this took eight months, then twenty twenty three schemes will come out in March. <laughs> I don't know. It's just an absolute disaster dumpster fire scenario. I'm sorry. What am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to be positive? Like, I, sure. The fact that it exists is good, but. It's just, it's outdated. It came out, this stuff, this is a year ago. It's, what, what, do you, what do you say to that? I don't, know, I don't know how else to really interpret it. I mean, it's cool there's a fifth gear. I saw that in the thing, so that's that's cool. It's adding things that the, the modders, like, just, I guess, physically couldn't do. So, that's cool. Bristle Dirt's a thing. That's, that's neat. But is it really worth $10? I don't, I don't think so. Even $5, I would, I would consider that being too much of a, of a, just not worth it. I don't know. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. Um, I don't know what else to really say beyond it. It just, it exists. And it took long enough. But it's too little. It's too late. I don't know, I'm done. That's my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So yeah, I'll see you all later and uh, take care.